I started as an art teacher and I noticed that students were not engaged in our work because they did not have opportunities for choice and the work we were doing was not relevant to their lives. They were not inherently interested in the work of great artists, as sad as that sounds. When I moved to my new position as the visual spatial enrichment teacher, I noticed the same issues with my units there. I also began to question the way I delivered instruction. I was talking so much that students did not have time to explore the materials and make meaning for themselves. Sometimes the demonstration table was so crowded that all the students were not able to see the instruction. Some students would often take a back seat in their learning. And in the same respect, I think many of us were taught math in a similar way. The teacher was the performer in the front of the room and explicitly showed us how to solve each problem step by step. I've been teaching for 16 years and as a math teacher, I've seen many different programs come and go. However, none of the curricula have truly engaged students by using authentic problems in which students can take ownership, problems that are meaningful to them in their real life. It's been way too much teaching to them instead of inspiring them to dig deep and grapple with problems. I've seen kids get bored, disengage, and then give up when there's no connection. I came into teaching because I wanted to make a change for students. I wanted to give them what I always wanted from my teachers. And yet, when I started teaching, I found myself emulating the ways teachers taught me when I was a student. The teacher was the performer and the ringleader. The students were the audience. I decided to make a change because I knew in my heart it didn't have to be this way. I knew I had the power to make changes and reflect my practice in order to give my students the best possible learning environment. I wanted my students to be truly creative and assess their work and have meaningful conversations with their peers. I wanted them to be interested in this work outside of the classroom and I wanted them to have the power to make the art they wanted to create, to give them a real voice, and with that, power. I can't say that I had one particular aha moment, but over time I've worked to develop units that are authentic, taking the focus off of me as the teacher and giving more responsibility and independence to the students. Using the four C's to inspire student engagement through the use of technology, I have seen students gain confidence and persevere to solve problems because of an intrinsic felt need. Watching students collaborate, communicate, think critically, and present their findings creatively has had a huge impact on my pedagogy and the success of my students. In my third year teaching art, I bought myself an iPad and began to use it to improve instruction. It is very difficult to get 24 plus students around a demonstration table. So instead, I would record my demonstration before class. I would make sure these videos were taken from multiple angles and that the videos were no longer than five minutes because elementary students cannot pay attention for longer than five minutes. I used iMovie to cut the clips together and then narrate the process and my criteria for success. Students would come into my room, set up the art supplies, and then watch the demonstration. We would review the criteria for success, and then students would turn around and get to work. It gave all of my students the best seat in the house for reviewing the demonstration, and we were able to maximize our studio time. I was also able to create GIFs, which are quick clips that play in a loop, of the most crucial steps. I would play the GIFs on a PowerPoint slide that I would leave up during the work period. Students would often use these clips as guidance, and it did not have students asking me what to do next or how to do a skill. In turn, they spent more time engaged in their work and giving their best effort. My change was a little more gradual. I began back in the day when the smart board was brand new. I eagerly got trained and have enjoyed learning new technology each year, starting with an interactive whiteboard and going through the Mobi and e-clickers, and finally now, my district has adopted Office 365, and my class is one-to-one -one with iPads. I've had to learn to give up much of the control to the students, but as I've done this, I've watched my students flourish, take responsibility and ownership, but more importantly, they have learned to persevere and take pride in solving problems on their own. They think more deeply and sometimes even present and solve new problems they've found along the way.